Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox jailbreak video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what the best car inside Roblox jailbreak actually is. But before we go on with today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, because at 30k subscribers, I will be giving away a torpedo to one of you guys. So if you want to win one, make sure you subscribe down below. But anyway, let's get straight on with today's video. So as you may know, choosing the best vehicle inside Roblox jailbreak is pretty much opinion based depending on how, what your circumstances are so i'm going to split this video up into different segments and concluding at the very end of it what the best overall vehicle is inside jailbreak to begin with i'm going to start off with budget cars say you're new to the game say you don't have a lot of money you're going to need a pretty fast car for a pretty low budget and that's where this the lamadador or the lamborghini comes in for only a hundred thousand dollars you can buy this vehicle with an insanely good top speed and handling. Now for low cost vehicles this is one of the best however there are some other alternatives. But to begin with we're going to start from low cost going to medium cost going to high cost and then at the end of that we're going to go on to limited vehicles that are the best and then we're going to go on the best overall vehicle inside jailbreak. But anyway back to the low cost vehicles as you can see the Lamadador here can do about 167 miles per hour top speed which is pretty decent considering this vehicle only costs you a hundred thousand dollars now the handling is pretty insane i like it everybody seems to like it and it's a very og vehicle however for the price point of this vehicle and for the speed and handling and acceleration you get this is by far the best starting vehicle inside jailbreak for only a hundred grand this vehicle is incredibly good it can keep up with most of the supercars to be honest with you and for the fraction of a price another thing is this vehicle is insanely cheap in trading now as you can see i'm driving the og Le Matador here, which is a little bit more costly in trading. However, the normal one or the current day Le Matador is really cheap and easy to get in trading. Most people just trade these off without even thinking about it because rich players just don't have a need for it because, of course, there are better cars. Speaking of better cars, let's get on to the medium price point. For medium price point vehicles, we're going to base this off $500,000 plus or more, not a million yet. So, what I've got here are two very, very good vehicles. The Eclair or the Bugatti uh, pure sport and right here the roadster both have their unique perks and i'm going to cover them right now starting off with the eclair right out the gate the eclair has a semi-decent acceleration with a beyond incredible top speed as you can see we're easily passing the 200 mile an hour mark if i could drive well as you can see we're easily passing the 200 mile per hour mark here nearly reaching 250 miles an hour in this which is ridiculous for only 500k for vehicles that literally cost a million dollars you wouldn't be going as fast as this in some case. However, where this vehicle lacks is acceleration. As you can see, it is by no means to be sniffed at, but it is still not as quick as some other vehicle. The handling of this vehicle is like driving around on an ice rink in some extent. You just cannot turn corners very fast. Like right here, I'm going to go as hard right as I can just at this little part of the bridge. And oh, I just about did it. But my finger is all the way down on the D. The other good thing about this vehicle is the reverse speed. As you can see, the reverse speed is pretty much instant and it's not too bad to be honest 80 miles an hour reversing is pretty decent however what the heck just happened here although the top speed is still by far the winning part of this vehicle reaching 200 miles an hour very very quickly and to be honest you should right past that onto 260 near for a mid-priced vehicle though there is more alternatives than a lower end price and this right here is another one the tesla roadster now compared to the bugatti right over there this has got some other quirks to it as you can see i I'm at a standstill right now, zero miles an hour. And I just shoot off the entrance. Look at that, 100 miles an hour, 150, and just about 200 by the end of this road, which is absolutely incredible. This thing handles like an absolute tank, going around corners, shooting off them as soon as you can and as fast as you can. It holds the ground really well as well. I did get a bit of air there, as you saw. But as you can see, I'm turning these corners with barely even lifting off the accelerator, constantly 200 miles an hour, which is incredible. Incredibly good. However, here comes the downside 
sides of these vehicles. Although the Tesla Roadster does have incredible top speed and an incredible acceleration, the top speed isn't quite as good as the Eclair or the Bugatti. As you can see, I'm going to do a speed test right here. Remember the Bugatti for a little bit less, which is only 500k, compared to the Roadster, which is 600k, could do 250, nearly 260 miles an hour. As you can see, the Roadster flat out is doing just above 210 miles an hour, which is not as good, obviously. To make it worse, if you stop the Roadster and press S on your keyboard and start going backwards, the top speed is abysmal. It is so, so slow, and I have no idea why it is this slow. Aside from those two limiting factors, the Tesla Roadster is an incredibly good option. However, surprise, there is a third option for a mid-tier cost vehicle, and that would be this vehicle right here, the Snake. This vehicle does cost $675,000, which costs the most out of all the other two cars that we've covered. However, this vehicle has something very special. Let's cover it first. As you can see from the start, the vehicle has pretty decent acceleration, not quite as good as the Roadster, but better than the Bugatti. And as you can see, we reached 180 just at the end of this road. However, as you can see, this vehicle has a higher top speed than the Roadster. Not by much, mind you, but I've gotten this up to about 230 miles an hour before. This is, of course, not as good as the Bugatti's, but it's still incredibly good. It's got the combined acceleration of the Roadster and the top speed of the Bugatti, creating almost a perfect pair of both of them. The handling of this vehicle is incredible, and with an animated spoiler, as you can see just now, it shoots up. I get very good handling on the road. As you can see, I can drive straight down this tunnel whilst doing this sort of thing and instantly go around this corner without putting any pressure off the gas. And as you can see, I'm doing a fairly good top speed right now, 225 miles an hour, which is pretty incredible. And as you can see, I get to go around the- Whoa, okay, my driving's awful. As I was saying, you can go around corners pretty well with this vehicle without much issue, kind of like the Roadster, but not quite as good but certainly better than the Bugatti. It is a sort of best of both worlds vehicle because it can do the top speed of the Bugatti and the acceleration of the Roadster. And not to mention, this has got a pretty decent back uh, reverse speed. As you can see, doing 72 miles an hour right here, reversing, which is a lot better than the Roadster's 40. The Snake really is the best of both vehicles, of the Bugatti and the Roadster. However, this comes at a down point because this vehicle costs $675,000, which is 175 more than the Bugatti and 75 more than the Roadster. Which leads me to conclude to the best overall mid-tier vehicle. And that, in my opinion, is the Roadster. For only 100k more than the Bugatti, you can get a very, very impressive acceleration, a very good top speed, and an incredible handling. I mean, look at me go around these corners right here. This vehicle is literally ideal from getting away from cops very, very quickly, and even though your top speed isn't very good, say you go over a ramp, well, you've instantly escaped the cops just like that. You do not need the top speed of the Bugatti. But now that we've covered the mid-tier vehicles, let's get on to everyone's favourite, the expensive ones. The first one I want to cover is this, the Scorpion, one of the newest added vehicles inside Jailbreak and very famously known for its incredible, and I mean incredible, top speed. This vehicle cost a measly $2.5 million, just jumping it up a little bit from 500k, but this vehicle really, really shines in one special area, and that is on the drag strip. As you can see, the acceleration is pretty mid until you hit here. As you can see, I'm shooting past 200 miles an hour, approaching 250. Now we keep on going. It goes past 300 miles an hour. It goes past 320, 330, 340, 350 before reaching the end of the drag strip. That's right, this is the fastest vehicle inside Jailbreak by far. Now to actually see what the fastest top speed is, we're going to need to do a bit of cheating and we're going to use rocket fuel to get ourselves up to top speed as quickly as we can. And as you can see, I've not sped this footage up at all. I'm not even using rocket fuel now. We're going past 350 miles an hour with a bit of rocket fuel. We're still going 380, 390, 3, nearly 400 miles an hour, which is just incredible. That is double the speed of the Roadster. Now, of course, in a normal game of Jailbreak, you are literally never going to reach that top speed because you need an incredibly straight bit of track and a fair amount of rocket fuel to just actually get you there in the first place. But overall, this vehicle is incredibly cool. Now, the reverse speed on this vehicle is also not too bad. As you can see, I'm doing 100 miles an hour backwards, which is pretty good in terms of reverse speed in any vehicle. The handling of this absolutely sucks. As you can see, as I take this round the track, when the acceleration and the speed is pretty low, it's alright, but as soon as we start 
start to speed up, and as soon as we pass this ridiculous speed, the handling becomes, well, non-existent. It is incredibly hard to go fast in this vehicle and on the road. You will fall off it pretty much every single time. You can guarantee though, you'll win pretty much every drag strip race with this vehicle though, and it is incredibly good. But for the price point, at only $2,500,000, I don't know if this is the best. We've got one other that we can cover. And that is everyone's favorite vehicle, the Volt Bike. If you do not know of this vehicle, what are you doing, living under a rock? This vehicle has a very, very good top speed of about 220 miles an hour, the best handling of any vehicle in the game, and a very, very satisfactory acceleration. As you can see, I can go from 0 to 100 in less than half a second, and not to 200 in just about 2 seconds, which is, well, there's no words for it. It is an incredibly quick and incredibly fast vehicle. This, of course, does step it down a lot from the Scorpion, because this is only a million dollars, you could literally get nearly three of these for the same price of the Scorpion. Of course, you're lacking on the top speed of this vehicle only being about 220 miles an hour, which is of course nowhere near 400. But in terms of everyday grinding, running away from cobs, this vehicle is going to be your best friend by far. I mean, look how easy this thing is to drive. I'm not really doing much concentrating on the driving here, and I'm still going around the track at very, very high speed. If you want to know more about the Volt Bike, go watch my last video because I describe how good it is and if you should even buy it in 2024, so go check that out. But anyway, let's get on to our final segment of vehicle categories, and then we will finally decide what is the best overall vehicle inside Jailbreak. We're now going to move on to these, which are the limited vehicles that you can own. To start it off, I'm going to go with the very well-known Torpedo. Everybody knows this vehicle is the most expensive vehicle inside trading currently at around $30 million value. It was previously the highest uh, speed vehicle before the Scorpion came out. It held that reign for about six years as being the highest top speed vehicle. Now, it does have a few major drawbacks, being the handling is awful, it looks like a soap bar, and the reverse speed is not very good. However, where this vehicle does pick up is the value in trading. This vehicle is extraordinarily expensive to get. And if you want to get one, you know, consider subscribing. We're giving one away at 30k. Overall, this vehicle is mainly just a jailbreak icon at this point. It has got a very, very good top speed, but to actually find out, let's head over to the drag strip. As you can see, out of the gate, the torpedo's acceleration is pretty decent. It's not something to be sniffed at. However, the acceleration is generally not the best. However, here is where it comes into clutch. It powers past 240, 250, 260, 270, and it can reach just about 320 miles an hour on the drag strip. However, realistically, you're not going to reach that in any, you know, sort of normal circumstance gameplay. So, let's not cover the torpedo anymore and move on to the next vehicle that is limited that is considered one of the greatest of all time. The next vehicle to cover is perhaps the greatest looking in all time, the Proto-08. To put it simply, the Proto-08 is a limited car that's worth about $10 million value in trading and is basically the, vol uh, the Roadster successor. It is basically the same as the Roadster, which we've already covered. But this vehicle is not uh, no longer obtainable. It was a level 10 grand prize from season 15? I probably got that wrong. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. As you can see, this vehicle is very, very similar to the Roadster. Its acceleration is just top notch. Its top speed is give or take the same as the Roadster, topping out at about 210 if you can get it up to that. Its handling is very, very good. As you can see, I'm doing this round a corner. I'm going to Tokyo drift this thing around the corner. <laughs> there we go. And the looks on this are just incredible. I mean, look at it. It looks beautiful. If I have to use this over the Roadster, I do. Because it's just so much nicer looking. And it is basically the same as the Roadster. I mean, it's so much the same. The reverse speed is a lot faster, though. As you can see, 72 compared to 44. But it literally makes the exact same engine sound as the Roadster. But what if I was to tell you there is actually a limited vehicle greater than the Proto 08? greater than the torpedo, greater than anything we've covered. And that is the beignet. It's another Bugatti mock-up vehicle, and as you can see, this vehicle has a very, very decent top speed. As you can see, we're going to reach roughly 230 miles an hour on the straight right here, shooting past it up to 250 miles an hour, and all the meanwhile, continually getting a very good handling on the road. As you can see, going around the corners, we're going to reach 265, maybe 270, if we're lucky. 
And as you can see, I didn't slow down here a bit as I crashed. But still, the handling on this is incredible. The reverse speed on this is incredible. Look at that, nearly 90 miles an hour reverse speed. And the acceleration, well... It's pretty top-notch, to be on it. It also has an incredibly high value inside the trading island. And not just that, this is a beautiful-looking vehicle. It is much, much nicer than, to than the uh, Torpedo to drive. It's much better top speed than the Proto 0A and the Roadster. You can actually control this vehicle how you want to... What the heck? Bro, jailbreak has been a bit buggy today. As I was saying, though, you can actually control this vehicle how you want to instead of sliding around the road as the Torpedo and actually getting a very good top Top speed compared to the Proto 08. This is my personal favorite vehicle, however, I'm not going to get my opinions into the outcome and conclusion of this video, which we are just about to cover now. But before we get into that, make sure you do subscribe because I really do want to hit 30k subscribers and it would be much appreciated. However, let's just get straight on with it, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, may I reveal to you overall the best vehicle inside Roblox Jailbreak? the Proto 0A. Of course, your opinion may be skewed off mine, but what I do believe is this to be the best current vehicle inside the game. Of course, if you do not have a lot of money in the game, this vehicle may seem pretty out of reach to you, so any of the other ones I just recommended before this, you should definitely go for. I mean, the Roadster is pretty much identical. But what this vehicle shines in is the trading value. As you can see, it is roughly $20 million values at the moment, which means this vehicle alone can get you any other vehicle, give or take, inside jailbreak within reason of course you're not getting a torpedo out however with that you get the insane acceleration as i will demonstrate right now going from zero to 200 in not that long at all by the time i finish this sentence it'll be at 200 just like so as you can see it doesn't go much past 200 miles an hour but it's still the acceleration that matters over the top speed in my opinion the handling as i said is just top notch as you can see going around corners easily without slowing down even all that much it is by far one of the best Best looking vehicles inside the game in my opinion it is of course electric so uh, you know oil heads out there just tell me what you think and also the customization on this vehicle is pretty incredible I've got a couple of safes here and to be honest all of them they look pretty decent on this as you can see changing it to a black and white sort of thing changing it to a you know interesting color and then changing it to this really glowy funky color and it looks still really really good I use this vehicle a lot as you can see I've got nearly 700 miles done on this vehicle which is a fair amount now of course everybody's opinion on the favorite and the best vehicle in the game will depend on what they think now a lot of people will have complained to me and said you know the vault bike is the best vehicle as you can see I've done a measly 43 billion miles on the vault bike and it's got a very very good top speed it's got a good acceleration good handling however I'm still going to say that it is the Proto 08 the vault bike only has one seat of course well because it's a bike the trading value of this vehicle is just really not there it's only worth about 850k when trading compared to 20 million which is just not comparable at all don't get me wrong the vault bike comes in at a very very close second due to the cost of this vehicle and the availability you can still buy this you can still buy the proto array so if you cannot get the proto array definitely get the vault bike but if you can or if you do have it the proto array is still in my opinion and i think in a lot of other people's opinions one of the best jailbreak vehicles ever. But uh, ignore everything I've just said because this is pretty much opinion based. I mean, realistically, nobody will ever truly find out what the best vehicle ever is. But this is just going off my statistics and personal experience with the vehicle. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, please tell me down below what you think the best vehicle is down in the description. And if you think it is the Proto Array or if I am just completely wrong. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 30k and I'll be giving away a torpedo when we reach it. So if you want to help me out, consider subscribing down below right now. Join my Discord server, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff, and guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.